Hey guys, in this video we are going to be reviewing Pythagorean Theorem and distance in the coordinate plane. So there is such thing as the distance formula for finding the distance between two points in the coordinate plane, but we're going to take what we know about, about Pythagorean Theorem and use Pythagorean Theorem to find that distance. So um, the steps for that process are to connect the given points, draw a vertical line from one of the points that aligns with the other given point, and I'll show you what I'm talking about there in just a second. We're going to draw a horizontal line that will intersect with that vertical line we drew in step two at a 90 degree angle which is going to create that right triangle. And then we're going to solve for the missing side of the right triangle. And you'll find that in all of these examples, we are, we'll be solving for the hypotenuse. So in the first example, we're going to find the distance between point A and point B. So step two says to draw a vertical line that will align with the other point. So I'm going to go from point B and I'm going to draw a vertical line and I'm going to stop at the point that would align with point A. Now we're going to draw a horizontal line from point A that will intersect with the other line that we drew, the vertical line we drew, to create that 90 degree angle. And I skipped step one, which was to connect the given points. That's okay, we can do it now. All right, so locate that right angle, which is opposite, and the side opposite that is going to be the hypotenuse, which is that distance that we are solving for. Now the reason why we can't count this distance is because this line is cutting off these squares at irregular intervals, so we can't really uh, accurately count those distances, but we can count the length of this vertical segment and we can count the length of the horizontal segment. So let's go ahead and do that. So one, two, three, four, five is going to be the length of the vertical segment, and then one, two, three, four is going to be the length of the horizontal segment. So we're going to use those measurements to in Pythagorean theorem to solve for C. So we'll do 4 squared plus 5 squared is going to equal c squared. 4 squared is 16. 5 squared is 25 equals c squared. Then we would add 16 and 25 to give us 41. And then our final step would be to take the square root of 41, which is going to give us c equals 6.5 would be the length and we would just double check that number and make sure it makes sense and 6.4 is larger than the other two sides so we know we've done an accurate calculation there all right for the next example find the distance between 3 5 and 5 1 so 3 5 is going to be our point up here and then neg excuse me negative 5 1 is going to be our point here so we're going to go ahead and connect those two points then we would draw a vertical line I'll start with the top point up here, and I'm going to draw a vertical line until I'm going to stop at the point that aligns with the other given point. Now we'll draw a horizontal line from the other point until it connects with the vertical line we drew, and there's our 90 degree angle. So we're going to be from the right angle. That opposite side is going to be the hypotenuse, so let's count the vertical and horizontal segments. One, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so we're going to use Pythagorean Theorem to solve for the missing segment. So we're going to do 4 squared plus 8 squared equals c squared. 4 squared is 16. 8 squared is 64. And 64 and 16 is going to give us 80. And then we will take the square root of both sides, and c is going to equal 8.9. Okay, just double check that. It is greater than the two legs that are given, so we know we have an accurate calculation. All right, now we're going to calculate the perimeter of the given figure, but we are going to have to solve for these diagonal segments here. Okay, so we're going to break those little, those little groups into the right triangles. So I've got a right triangle here, and this is a parallelogram. So these two little triangles that I'm drawing in color are going to be congruent to each other. So we can just solve for one of them and double that value, okay? And I'm gonna actually work with the orange triangle. It's a little easier to see. So this segment here is going to be one and this segment here is two and we're gonna be solving for this little hypotenuse here. So we would do one squared plus two squared equals c squared. One squared is one, not two, be careful. Plus two squared is four equals c squared. So 5 equals c squared, and we are going to take the square root of 5, which is going to give us 2.2. 2. 
All right, so this segment is 2.2, and this segment, this other diagonal segment is also going to be 2.2. The long segments are going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, and 1, 2, 3, 4. So if we are calculating the perimeter, recall that that's going to be the distance around our figure. So we're going to add 2.2 perimeter equals 2.2 .2 plus another 2.2 plus 4 plus 4. And that is going to give us 12.4 as the perimeter of our parallelogram. I hope this was helpful, guys.